Well, they're very happy here at the Seacoast Adventure Park. They've been waiting all season to open up their tubing. They will finally be able to do it. It is cold enough. There is snow on the ground. You may not want to drive in it, but basically every business we talked to today that relies on snow is very happy with this weather. Very excited because we have lots of trails that need to be used. They are smiling at Smiling Hill Farm in Westbrook. Snow means business and they have 20 kilometers of trails for cross country skiers. We'd like to keep the snow longer, especially for school vacations and weekends. That's when we get the most business. This weekend will be the second all winter Smiling Hill can open for skiing. At Gorham Bike and Ski in Portland, they're so excited they're popping wheelies. Snow means money in the winter time. Snow brings more interest in their winter gear, plus the hottest thing in biking right now, the fat bike, a bike you can ride all winter long. This has been an exceptional year for fat bike sales, motivated by a bunch of different factors, the weather being one of them. But I think people are just really seeing them more often and they want to ride them. It's mixed feelings in Scarborough. Town officials postponing the annual Winterfest because the ice rink isn't, well, icy enough. When the snow came in, it wasn't quite cold enough just yet where the ice was able to refreeze. So now what we have is a slightly frozen pond with six inches of snow on it. Winterfest will go on as planned February 13th. That's if all this snow sticks around. Well, we tried to avoid it as much as possible, but again, you know, we work with what we get outside. And here in Wyndham, they will open up for tubing on Friday. Everybody just crossing their fingers right now that everything stays snow this winter, no rain. And Roger says you could get out and get an opportunity to enjoy the snow if you didn't today. Certainly it's a Wednesday, but ample time in the days to come. We're live in Wyndham tonight. I'm David Charns, WMTW News 8.